Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's have a look at how to work with random frame sizes. So shout out goes to Greg Chambers for bringing this up, asking me some questions about it. And it has to do with not having everything the same, not everything is 16 by nine or HD or 4K or whatever. You get handed video that's vertical video, that's ultra HD, that's supposed to go into HD. And yeah, you can resize anything, but if you're counting on effects like the transform effect and the, those settings were, were based on an HD frame, then they won't work if you also resize it. So this is such an easy fix and it involves nesting. It's really, really simple. You can think of as a, a nested sequence as if it was exported out as a brand new sequence. So that vertical video, you stick it in an HD sequence, it's now like you've created it, you have a new sequence. So nests are just as good as regular video. I'm going to start with a timeline that's just full of HD clips. They're all 16 by nine HD clips and I've got two oddball clips. One is ultra HD and one is a very odd vertical phone size. So let's have a look. So here's a bunch of uh, shots of this restaurant and right about, this point, just before we serve the food, we've got a shot over here. It's this ultra HD shot of the staff starting to put the linen on the tables. Okay, so if I just drag that in to my clip and I'm holding down the control key command on Windows to do a ripple insert, we get this. <laughs> this happens that we don't know what's happening. What the heck? You can see, of course, here, it makes sense that the people are in the view pretty darn quick, but they don't come into view until way late and the frame is just wrong. Of course, you could right click and choose set to frame size. If you wanna know the difference between set to frame size and scale to frame size, I got a tutorial on that. That will be linked in the description. Uh, so yeah, we can do that. But like I said, if you have a preset, that changes the animation of, of the, this clip and it's been resized, it won't work. So how do we fix that? So the easiest way to make a sequence that matches this sequence is to duplicate it. So if I right click on that sequence and choose duplicate, it duplicates the sequence. Um, I'm gonna name this table and open that up and get rid of everything that's in there. Remember, I'm making a new sequence. Now I'll take the Ultra HD clip and put it in to the HD sequence and I'll get a warning that it doesn't match, no problem, keep existing settings. So this is the same issue, it's not framed correctly. So if I right click and set to frame size, now it fits perfectly. I'll close that up. Again, I'll make sure that this blue button is turned on and I'll now drag the sequence, not the clip, but the sequence into that spot and now it fits perfectly. It's just as if I rendered this out as a video. Any effects that have been uh, created, any animations like my split screens, now it would work just like any HD clip, no worries at all. Um, one clip here and there probably doesn't really make a difference, but if you're using a very slow ultra book and you got a whole bunch of these ultra HDs and you really wanna work with them as HD, just render them again as HD in, in media encoder. Let's have a look at the other clip. This one is a vertical video of this guy here coming out with these beautiful vegetables and we need to put this in, and obviously it's not going to fit. By the way, this clip was a full Ultra HD clip that I used auto reframe. I'll put a link in the description for that. Auto reframe followed him along. I tr trust me, I did nothing other than say auto reframe, and it followed him the whole way and made that vertical uh, video. You wow, okay. So just like before, I'll duplicate 
the table sequences. I could duplicate either one. Let's name this veggies. Open that up. And again, delete that clip. And let's stick that phone video in. Again, we'll keep the existing settings. And you can see it doesn't fit. So this time I will manually go to the effects controls and scale this up until the size reaches the edge. So that's 159% and I need to bring that down a bit so we can see him. And when he gets over here, we're kind of losing the veggies. So I will animate the position. So I'll put a position keyframe here and then just move that up so we can see the veggies and see how that works. There we go. So we go from him down to there. Great, same thing now. Find a place to put this. He's got the veggies there. So maybe just before this point here, Again, I'll drag the sequence, not the clip, holding command control. And now, there we go. So everything fits perfectly. So these two nested clips, nested sequences, are going to behave exactly as if you took the time to export out a video and report, import it back in that, as HD. This solves all the problems. Just nest it into a known item, nest it into that HD. And you can go anywhere. So if I had a bunch of HD or Ultra HD or 16 by nine clips and I wanted to do a vertical video, I could do the exact same thing. I could put them into a vertical video and then put that nested clip into a vertical video. Doesn't matter which way you're going. Um, I like to live in a horizontal world, but that's just me. So there you go. That was uh, for Greg. Hopefully, I mean, I answered him a long time ago, but hopefully uh, some other folks will find that very useful. I'll put this on my uh, split screens on the store in the, in the links for that because some people that are using the split screens um, have trouble with them if, if they're using something that isn't 16 by 9. The split screens work with HD and 4K, but as soon if I did this uh, vertical video, then it wouldn't work at all. So you would have to do this technique. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us more, you can do that through our store on videoreveal.com slash shop. Donate once or monthly, any amount. Support us. Grab some uh, split screens while you're there. There's lots of free stuff. Become a member and get even more stuff. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to listen to the folks that reach out to me and give you an answer that you can work.